What's going on there, folks? Good Friday evening. It is uh, April 2nd, 2021's a date, 9.50 p.m. West Coast time. And I'm uh, going to do a quick recap of earthquake activity uh, throughout the day today. A 2.5 up there around the Alaska area. That uh, 2.5 quickly uh, was... Uh, there was a prior earthquake, a 4.0 up there around the Aleutian Islands area. Quite a bit of an uptick in the uh, plate dynamics out here today let's go ahead and check that out real quick on the uh, flat scale earth model kind of all started off with this 6.6 uh, .6 earthquake originally a 6.4 upgraded by the usgs uh, to a 6.6 .6 there east of the south sandwich islands along the uh, well uh, this plate boundary here the antarctica plate and the South America plate here you can see that little uh, fracture within that uh, zone right there pretty good size quake uh, historical earthquake activity shows no doubt uh, a lot of activity but I I never seen a 6.6 uh, .6 out there at least far as the uh, historical earthquake activity goes 6.6 .6 was quickly and coincidentally followed up by a uh, 4.9 out there in the uh, well, the Kermadec Trench area. About a two-minute difference from a four point from the uh, 4.9 to the uh, 6.6 .6 there. Coincidence? Yeah, I I don't think so. I think this kind of tells everyone shows everyone the uh, dynamics and the uh, the very sensitive sensitivity of the uh, the plates out here how one plate can affect another, I mean, thousands of miles away. It may seem impossible, but it's not. I see this all too often, way all too often, when uh, when a big quake hits, uh, immediately followed up by a, a quake thousands of miles away. So we had that uh, 4.9 out there along the uh, Kermadec Trench area, about 10 kilometers or so below the surface, and then that was followed up by this earthquake out here along the uh, Lucian uh, Lucian Trench, Lucian Islands area, 4.0. So a little bit of increase in earth earthquake activity out here, no doubt today, folks. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in here to Northern California. It's kind of a hot spot of activity. I don't think we're done with um, with the activity out here, um, and I will show you why here in a little bit. Uh, the 4. Point, what do we got here? 4.4. That's kind of old. It should be dropping off the 24-hour uh, threshold here pretty soon. And there hasn't been a whole lot of new activity. Um, but we're still kind of watching this area of the Cascadia subduction zone uh, due to the amount of trimmer that's taken place out there in the uh, Pacific Northwest. As uh, far as earthquake activity in Southern Cal, we're looking at, uh, well, it looks kind of normal. <laughs> But we are seeing, at least to the west of the San Jacinto Fault area, a little bit more earthquake activity on the uptick here on the micro scale range um, in between the, what's this fault, the Ellesnor Fault and the San Jacinto Fault area. We're kind of seeing a, a little, little bit of increase in activity there. Kind of watching that uh, area for some further movement. Of course, the west coast has been uh, fairly active when it comes to uh, uh, plate tectonics out here movement up into nevada on a little bit uh, a little bit larger scale above the micro quake range 3.9 and a 4.3 striking out there over the last day or so as we look uh, to the north and to the uh, east here not a whole lot of activity above 2.5 there has been uh, a little bit of micro quake activity in idaho region but other than that pretty quiet Yellowstone National Park still seeing some movement, not a whole lot, uh, just some microquakes up there around the borehole region uh, around Lake Yellowstone. So Trimmer, here is the latest Trimmer map tonight. Shows, uh, well, Northern California spot, uh, right spot in view right there with the target. Looking at about 393 epicenters of Trimmer. Along the southern end, this is the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone right there. It ends right about there. And we have been seeing this activity for about five days now. And that's uh, a 
That's a lot. That's quite a bit of activity there in Northern California taking place down dip, downstream of the uh, North American plate there. And uh, no doubt we've seen the uh, little bit of surface quaking off here to the west with all those four pointers and uh, uh, the other quakes taking place there around the Cascadia subduction zone. I kind of still expect a little bit of uptick, or not uptick, but uh, I, I'm thinking that we're going to see a little bit more movement in this region. Uh, I don't think we're done with that activity yet, just due to the fact that uh, we we still seen this massive amount of tremor in this region. So just be on guard out here along the uh, Pacific Northwest area. Uh, what else we got here? Mauna Loa region. We're still seeing some activity out there. Let's go ahead and go out to the uh, earthquake map here real quick. Out here into the uh, beautiful Pacific. And uh, you can see the earthquake activity taking place there in the big island. Mauna Loa still showing some activity around the caldera region of the volcano. Nothing major, but they did put out the HVO, uh, or at least the USGS folks there, did put out a uh, little statement yesterday, a little update, uh, talking about the 172 earthquakes or so around the uh, Mauna Loa summit. Uh, they talked about a uh, tilt meter near the Mauna Loa summit measured a small change in tilt at the same time as the flank swarm. Uh, same time as that uh, earthquake swarm occurred. The tilt change was consistent with contraction across the summit and has since leveled off, according to these folks. The contraction is m most likely a short term um, ex excursion of or excursion from the long term pattern of summit inflation that has been taking place since 2015. Consistent with magma supply to the volcano shallow shallow uh, storage system so uh you know <laughs> how do you want to take that we're we're recharging so to speak there at mono loa and it's just a matter of time before that uh you know before it turns into uh some uh, significant news no doubt all right folks we're going to jump off here have a good friday night going to kind of keep it short tonight uh but please stay safe out there and we're kind of monitoring the earthquake activity out there around the globe. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, chat you guys sometime tomorrow. Have a, have a good Friday night. Peace out.